not 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 at all um so yeah, gonna be starting off on uh battlefield uh, instead of pokemon stadium 2 um and and immediately i think it's always interesting to see in dittos and especially zonu dittos like who's gonna be the one to play back and who's gonna be the one to maybe be a bit more of the aggressive yeah, I'm not actually sure how often either of them will play the uh, Rob Ditto, but uh, we're starting off on Battlefield, which actually, as you see, is a pretty common stage for Rob, and I definitely see why it's pretty good. They do have the multiple projectiles, and they kind of kind of build like tunnels underneath these platforms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little bit interesting, just getting stuck on the go and Jago there. But, oh, this is such a good position for example right now, just trying to maybe track Dill a little bit, but he's not going to be able to find it. I completely forgot who was who at that interaction, so I had to quickly check out those name tags. Oh yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm pretty positive that Dill uh, does consistently play the Famicom Rob. But here we go, oh, applying this extra pressure off the stage. His first stock lasting a long time. That's another reason why Rob loves Battlefield, to, uh, just for the sake of holding on to stocks for that much longer. But there we go, the back here is going to find the first stock. Yeah, Zombuck definitely getting a little bit too goody off the ledge. Though. Such a good position for Dill. She doesn't choose to capitalize though, instead just chooses to get back onto the stage. Um, I felt like that was going to be a doubting. Oh, Ooh. wow. Yeah, I caught the lag right there in the positioning. Uh, still got 4%, but uh, that's next to nothing here. Uh, basically, dead even game. Oh, gonna be a good amount of damage for Dill. Going through like a bit of a DI mix up punish up to go up here instead of uh, up to go forward as Zampa like holds in on that. That's an interesting choice. Um, but now, Dill, she needs to be able to find a way to get back onto the stage. Both of them have like so much like mid and high recovery mix, so it's gonna be like difficult for either of them to like pin each other down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I was watching, uh, actually, these trades are actually benefiting Zamba more than they are Dill right now, so Dill has to make some adjustments in her gameplay in order to uh, maintain the lead that she picked up on the first stock. Ooh, one big up who's going to set it up for a really, really good juggle, but not able to track Zamba's landing. He got so tricky with his beautiful Jagos. Okay, there we go. We got to land eventually, but now we have the stage control coming out from Zamba. Wow, the last hit of that side B going to be the, the amazing control. Yeah, and Zamba is going to be picking up Dill's own Jago there. She tries to get back onto the stage, avoids the ledge entirely, and is going to be able to fight her way out. And now she has Zamba in a bit of a predicament, stuck in a corner, but Ooh. just able to cross up the Jago so safely. Yeah, somehow evading death of that up smash coming from Zamba. And now, again, th these stocks are just living to like over 130% each. Like, they both dealt probably like 300% by now, and they're still on their second stock. Oh no, Zamba! <laughs> Whoa, the no DI in the world there. I don't even think that was just, oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're just playing a video game. <laughs> I'm not really sure about that dragon killing either, by the way. None of, <laughs> not, none of what just happened should have done the job, but you know what? I, I think Dill at that point, she was just like, yeah, you know what? I, you, I didn't deserve that, so you're not going to deserve this one either. I, I think we were just gassing up Rob's ability to uh, live for a long time, so they didn't want Rob to be nerfed, so they both just took one for the team. <laughs> Alright, now Zamba gonna be controlling the stage, but uh, probably like holding shield after pressing Ooh. neutral uh, on Dill's own shield. Yeah, here comes the sharking from Dill, adding a ton of percent here to Zamba. If Dill continues to play like this, she's gonna take game one. Has a great idea on catching the landing, but Rob being such a big body ends up getting hit by neutral uh, anyways. Yeah, I actually have no idea, but is this song supposed to be from like the Rob soundtrack? I don't even know what Rob soundtrack is. Oh, that's like the down smash on the missed tech though. <gasps> Oh, that weak hit laser, not going to kill. If that was a strong one, that might have been able to do the job. Um, but now Dill stuck in a bit of predicament, and this is a trap that she knows himself all too well, right? <gasps> has the jump lead, has the call out. Oh my oh. god, the chase, maybe? <laughs> oh, both of them burning a lot of fuel on that one. They both want this game one. I wish somebody got hit up there. I'm, I'm so sad that interaction boiled down to nothingness. They both just uh, wanted to play it so safely there. But now Dill just in a really, really good position. No way. What? Yeah, I thought we were going to see the up smash sooner or later. Both of them seeping with rage. This last stock lasting so long. Is it? Oh, yeah. Dill trying to maybe get back a little bit too like safely, but just sticking the head off of the ledge. Just going to run right into back his hitbox. Back here is so big. You yeah. see, like, from what point Zombo was able to land that? It was, like, right onto the platform, too. Yeah, we're going to see it right here again on the instant replay. Shout-outs to House at 3000 for this technology right here. What I want to talk about is just, like, they were on that last dock even before this moment, How like, burning is. a lot of their fuel for a very long mm -hmm. time. So, like, Dill couldn't afford to hang on ledge any longer. Yeah. Um, there were like a couple of times where she was able to land, and then Zamba ended up missing a punish. Uh, that second sock where he just kind of ended up jabbing to the gong side, got back thrown and killed, uh, by the way, which really shouldn't have happened the way it did, but... 
Um, I, I do feel like Bill's being really, really uh, liberal with her fuel usage. Uh, and and Zomba sooner or later is going to be able to capitalize on it, maybe catching more free landings, or just being able to catch her halfway up uh, as she tries to recover high. Yeah, you, you saw on that very last stock, Dill trying to make plays and then both of them burning a lot of fuel in the process. Trying to take center stage, and it was Zamba mm -hmm. to take center and hold the ledge trap. Going up 1-0 here in winter semis, and as you know, man, for over 200 weeks, best of three here all the way through. And that's, I mean, I love that mentality because it puts that extra pressure on you. Even if you're playing against, like, top-level players, you know, you got your DeBuzz, your Mr. E's that have yeah. come through Xenos consistently. So, uh, and it's just like, if you ever go to EVO, that's basically all the tournament yeah. for, like, 3,000 players. It's just, like, best of three all the way. So, you got put yourself in that mindset where it's like, uh, you know, just do it in a 2-0 and then just get that sweep if you can. So Zamba up 1-0, counterpick stage, but in a ditto, they have the same advantage and disadvantage, and neither character can recover under the stage here because of the walls. Oh, that time Dill is going to be initiating neutrally just a little bit faster than Zamba is. Ends up winning that interaction, but right now she's at a pretty high percent. Zamba going to be looking for that jump call out. Uh, that time with a bit of a timing mix up, going through up uh, instead of back as he was doing before. Yeah, huge damage here coming up from Zamba, despite Dill uh, choosing this as her counter pick and now trying to get a combo set up. Ooh, that last hit of up there definitely would have done it into a combo, but now breaking out of the situation, though Dill is on notice. <gasps> wow, what a catch with up smash as well. Just catching Dill jumping back onto the stage, and now she has a bit of damage to make up, but Zamba getting a little bit creative with some of his own uh, gyro conversions. Yep, yep, Zamba was absolutely suffocating Dill on that last stock for a very long time, and now the chase is here. Dill wants oh to no. apply the extra pressure, but no, no, the, the reversal coming out from Zamba. And ends up getting a drag down up, up tilt, oh. uh, but Dill is going to be the one to try to close it out with an up smash. Rob being so heavy is not going to die quite yet. Is it going to be a punish? That's going to be one dash attack. Dill setting up a juggle, but Zamba mixing up his timing so, so well. But at the end of the day, back in such a big hitbox, covering so many options. Mm -hmm. Two stocks and two, and that up smash definitely didn't do it. The counter pick stage actually kind of working against Dill for just a moment. And now, a hundred plus lead mm -hmm. here. Uh, very many raw moves will take the stock. Ooh. Uh, that's one of them. Yeah, again, like, Zamba just keeps, like, up smashing in the same position as well. Dill just ends up jumping in from the corner uh, instead of rolling in, instead of stalling a little bit. And honestly, you can't really blame her. You don't have too many options as you up in that kind of a position. But right now she's just getting so many up airs, tries to get the tech chase with laser and just putting on this damage. Yeah, it's exactly what I was talking about earlier as well. It's like, this is the kind of moment where, again, you want to do it in a 2-0 and Zamba poised to make it happen. You don't want to let it go to game three. And that's like a big, like again, part of the mental game that you kind of need to just like win these kind of tournaments. Mm -hmm. That's going to be one big down to go. Ooh. Is that going to be the follow-up? No. Wait. Tries to go for the drag down as a way to catch neutral air dodge. I love the idea. And you know what? She still found the stock at the end of the day. That was a pretty interesting sequence. Um, and I like the idea from Do. I'm glad it worked out at the end, but dropping the execution slightly at some point. Yeah, amazing up smash. Now basically a seemingly even game. Now Dill trying to apply this pressure, trying to bring it to a game three. Ooh, catching the panic options. And now Zamba racking up the percents. Ooh, Dill going to be starting another juggle for himself. Tries to catch Zamba's landing, but uh, he was able to cross her up successfully. So now we're back at neutral. Both of them just trying to bait out each other, like grabbing or hitting the gyro. So we see Zamba like tunnel visioning into a little bit, and Dill is just able to punish him on the end lag, just for throwing out a dash attack as he tries to pick it up. Oh wow, amazing down smash coming out and then getting amazing stage control. Very close to closing this out, and Zamba not actually at any risk of losing his stock anytime soon. Still going to be using up so much of a fuel in going high. Oh. Still holds on to her double jump, which is just such an important resource to hold at all times. She needs more oh, fuel wait. because... Yeah, running out of fuel entirely here. Going to catch the air dodge to the ledge, maybe? <gasps> Ooh, that's nope. It. Here it is. We talked about it before. We foretold uh, the demise of Dill, and it's, it's going to be all of her fuel usage. So at the end, she just ended up burning and petering out uh, and, and falling to her death. Yeah, here we are. The expert usage of, like, forcing the fuel being burned right here. And what really hurts overall is just, like, I think the aggressive option is, like, uh, yeah, see, he's already charging the down smash to cover the air dodge to the ledge. So, I mean, it's basically, I'm going to go out on my terms. Yep. Those, I mean, she was truly out of options. And I really like how Zamba, like, as you mentioned, treated that situation. He wasn't looking for the kill. He was just looking to continuously poke Dill offstage until she was forced into a bad recovery option. As soon as Zamba recognized, you don't have enough fuel to try to go high again, I'm just going to cover the one option uh, that you can use to get back onto the stage, being the directional air dodge. Um, so I'm actually really glad that you pointed out the down smash, because I didn't even see that. Um, so 
Uh, I'll be just honest. Just whittle two down. I didn't actually see it either, but thanks to the awesome technology from the replays, <laughs> you can see the charging yellow smash deck, and mm -hmm. then uh, the down smash would have came out to punish like the remainder of that. So good stuff to Zomba. And mm -hmm. then we're actually going to go right into winner's finals. So.